All right. Uh, before we wrap things up, I always like to give everyone a chance. Anything that we didn't touch on that you would like to say before we close things down? I think the only thing I would mention is that the success of the clinic wouldn't I want to say exist, or we wouldn't see so much progress if it wasn't for all of the dedication and expertise of all those who are involved every week. Um, it, it takes a chunk of time out of everyone's Fridays and um, for our faculty to be dedicated to these efforts, um, wanting to see um, everyone succeed, not just the patients, but our learners. It is an experience that we provide students and that we want to build into a curriculum. So we see long-term, um, not only affecting patients, but the learners at IU. So I would just say uh, thank you to all the preceptors, faculty, staff. It just doesn't exist within our, um, I want to say our grant uh participants, but it's also the staff members and the medical assistants at the FMC who are willing to jump in and to help. So, I think Kelsey brings up a great point, and that is, I mean, I've been in practice a long time. I'm really old now at this point, <laughs> and I learn something every single time we're in COPAC, and I think that really speaks to the value of interprofessional practice and interprofessional education because you bring this wealth of expertise and experience to the table that otherwise the patient is either never going to experience or is only going to experience in a fragmented way. And by bringing it all together and aligning it in this very collaborative model, you create this fantastic environment that is just so healing and developmental and really engages everyone and literally everyone can learn. Mm -hmm. 